look good looking in different ways. You know if it's on? Yeah. Right guys, uh, here with one of our Lock Stash ambassadors, Alfie Petch. How are we Alfie? Very good mate, thank you. Loving that. <laughs> right, literally just going to ask a few questions and get inside a rugby player's head for a, for a matter of minutes. Massive. Don't want to, his massive head, <laughs> don't want to take up too much of his time. There you go. So, a few questions for you Alfie, sent in by a wonderful locker head. What made you choose rugby as your chosen sport? I don't know, it's quite a long one actually. I just um, obviously I'm from Butte, so it's got actually just quite a local rugby town. So it's just it's really simple. I was quite big when I was a child, big head. So I went into my I don't know, I remember it actually. I was, I was playing PlayStation. Literally playing PlayStation, went to the store, there's a guy there, he's coached for people my age and he's like, Oh, do you wanna come down and play for Butte under tens? I was like, Yeah, go on then. And I just played it since then. Happy days. Literally simple as that. that. So that's where the dream started. Love it. Right, here we go. At 16, in terms of your rugby career, what would you have defined it being successful? So if you look back now, what, what, was, the, what was the ambition? Uh, at 16, I was quite lucky at 15, like 14, 15, I played Ace League at 15 years old. So Big time. So me, <laughs> I, was just, I, was just, I was just one of those lucky ones, mate. There's a few of us who wanted it, but I, just, I don't really know. I was quite successful then. At 15, mate, I was playing against 19-year-olds. Like big 99s, I was like, um, who was there? Dan, Dan Frost is one of them, I played against Frosty. him when, when I was younger. Uh, when I was 15, he was 19 at the time. Biddy Keast I played against when I was 15. Nice. Uh, there's, oh, there's another one, mate. He was, he was fucking big, mate. <laughs> I'd love I'd love to be able to comment, but then I'll look like a nose if I get it. <laughs> go on, right. no. uh, hey, go on. Then I'll probably consider it. So if I two no past 16. 16. Yeah. Mm. There's, a, there's, there's quite a few. Yeah. Mate, move on, move on. My, my, my brain's gone blank. Um, yeah, so looking back on the academy system, obviously probably fond memories is where yeah. this all began. Yeah. But um, how did it affect you as a player and as a person? I mean, what was it like as a as a player coming through? Well, it was quite... I was very lucky. So when I was 13, I, I, was, I was picked up straight away. But then I was so far out between everywhere. So yeah, Bue's like bang in the middle between Truro and Exeter. It's like Mordor, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it literally is, mate. I'm literally in my own... You're literally by yourself. It's like an island by itself. So obviously, mum didn't have a lot of money to actually drive me to everywhere. So when I was younger, I used to like... Uh, so Saturday sessions we used to have... I used to get a bus at five in the morning, so that's the that's the time I used to have to get up and go there to do Saturday work. Dedication. It's, it was horrible, mate. It's actually horrible. <laughs> like thinking about it now, I don't know how I did it, but then I just love. Obviously, love I just love game. rugby, mate. Yeah. It's just one of those games I have to do. If yeah, so um, probably quite an obvious question for you to answer. But if you haven't been part of the academy system, where do you think you'd be now in terms of rugby career? Would play, I probably would play rugby. No, no, because if you think about it, mate, I started at 10 to 11, then within the three years, I was in the academy straight away, within three years, yeah. and that's the, the only rugby I've actually known is playing in the academy system. Yeah. And so obviously, I don't know if that's lucky or I've been drilled into that sort of system, but I've been in it for a long time, so I don't see any, I, I don't see myself right. doing, the, I probably wouldn't play rugby. Oh, amazing, mate. Well, to be fair, from an under 20, England under 20, that's quite a <laughs> revelation, mate. If you hadn't been picked, you wouldn't have bothered. Yeah, no, but that's nah, class. Okay, so, yeah, as I say, next question is probably, if you're looking back at kids now, whether they're at Exeter, Truro, Hartbury, whatever, yeah. um, as we get a lot of different demographics of people listening and, and looking at our stuff from all over the country, is that what... What would you say to them? What's your advice? It depends where they are, obviously, and how old they are. But obviously, if they're, if they're young like me, I'd just say, just enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it and you're taking it serious, it's no point. Because then it comes up to your point where if you're doing it from 13 up to 15 and nothing happens at 15, that's the only rugby you know, in a sort of sense, if, you, if that makes any sense. But now, I mean, if you enjoy it at that age, then if you're 16, just got into the academy at 16, take it take everything on board if you don't take it on board you don't take, make you a better rugby player and a better bloke at the same time so then you, you have that opportunity going I played with who on so so and so at 16 17 look at him now he's playing professional rugby player if that, yeah. if that makes any sense yeah 
and you can do that thing that all blokes do at some point in their lives if they didn't make yeah. it and go oh, I could have made yeah, it yeah, if yeah, it yeah. wasn't for my MCL or whatever <laughs> <laughs> perfect yeah, exactly.